If you don't hit people hard, they laugh at you. They take your lunch money. Take your girlfriend. Take your boyfriend, whatever. Vertical. I mean horizontal. Okay? Not vertical. It could be from diagonal anywhere from here to here. So step in, throw it, and whatever comes naturally, throw it back. Step in hard, turn it over. Okay? Let's go. Step in. Big power power. You don't hit people hard, they laugh at you. They take your lunch money. Take your girlfriend. Take your boyfriend, whatever. We are gonna uh my this here? That's a what size is that? Six. That's a caca? Yeah, that's like the most expensive one. Uh, that thing, they're, they're getting our money back. Okay. Um, we'll get our money back and then you won't get yours. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. That's like a high energy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where's Shane? Shane, okay. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, okay. One of the most effective ways of knocking people out and catching people is when they're coming to you. Because people, when people come to you, a lot of times they're coming like anxious and they're like either pulling a hand back, going in for a shot, and the second they start coming towards you, they start going in um, attack mode and they're not as defensive. Like when they're moving around, it's hard to catch them because they're moving around, their hands are up. But once they start throwing and coming in, you catch them midstream. That's why counterpunching is so effective. And you've heard about the greatest boxers, or you know, there's a lot of counterpunchers. Um, so anyway, one of my favorite counterpunches is the left hook for a couple reasons. Number one, because you can actually throw it moving backwards. You have a hard time throwing a right hand moving backwards. But if he's coming forward, I can actually throw a left hook moving backwards effectively. I can throw a left hook if he's coming forward, turning this corner. I can throw left chunks, standing my ground, and then as soon as that left hook lands, I can follow up with a combination. So those are my fa three favorite counter left hooks. Okay, the first one, either he's a southpaw or not, it doesn't matter. Is the bullfighter, and a bullfighter, you just take the bullfighter with the uh, with the cape, and the way they get out of the way like this. That's exactly what you're doing. You're just turning that corner while you're hitting, and even though it. it it doesn't seem like you're going to generate a lot of power. I mean, you can feel some power in that hand when I'm hitting it. So he's coming, step out of the way. Catching him in the chin, you can still knock him out. There's been so many knockouts for that punch. Number two, I call that the bullfighter. Now, the second one I call stand your ground. Because you're here waiting for him, boom. As soon as he steps in, you hit him. A couple things not to do. Keep your hands up here, because now i got to pull back first. Okay. So that's the main thing you don't want to do, okay? So if I'm here, if I'm waiting for him in this position here, and then he comes in, I can just turn it over, so I don't have to pull it back. So I'm here, I stand my ground, and then I can come in with another combination. The, that's the stand the ground. The third one, I call it follow me. Anybody ever been in the infantry, army, infantry, no? Okay. Anyway, they have this thing, follow me, the, I am the infantry. And the guy's going like this, like, come on with me. And that's how it looks like when, when I'm moving back and someone's turn, coming towards me, it's like you're, you're walking away while you're hit hitting. And it doesn't seem like you should be able to generate a lot of power while walking away, but you can. You've seen people throw that hook in the UFC and the person just falls flat on their face because you can generate a lot of power from it. Okay? So, first we're going to do bullfighter, get a partner, have them take a step forward. And turn that corner. All right, go. Three and three, go. I'm gonna 
Pivot on the ball with front foot. Good, Steve. Good. Good. All right. Turn your ball to ball with foot. Let's go. Turn it all the way. The actually the drop. Because you're going to doesn't connect them and hurt them and they keep following you because you're in this position here you do an elbow a hammer blow a side kick a back kick there's all kind of things that you do it's, 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 the, the sky's the limit guys there's all kind of ways to hurt your opponent okay so pick one go <laughs> Fuck. 